Hey guys, Apple here with a video. So, what I've heard a lot of people talk about through the years of playing TF2 is the Dead Ringer. This watch is infamous for its ability to survive devastating attacks, which has given it a lot of hate throughout the years. And of course, some changes to stats. I'm also on the side of liking the changes that Val has given it. That's not the point of my video though. Today, I want to talk about some tips that may help you out using this watch. So here are three tips for using the Dead Ringer. Remember to leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe for more videos. Enough talking for the intro. With my apologies. My first tip is understand the role of the Dead Ringer. By this I mean that the Dead Ringer is a different watch than what it was originally. Before the Gunmetal update, it was a watch made for dealing with the weakness of Spy. It was a way to fix the problem of the low health that Spy has, and a way to encourage more aggressive behavior in Spies. The Dead Ringer is not for aggressive gameplay anymore, and it's what I call a second chance watch. What I mean with that is that the whole point of the Dead Ringer is getting you out of dangerous situations. This is why it gives you the speed boost and the fire resistance to flee. The point of the Dead Ringer is to use it as a way to escape from enemies and not die. So what I do is I use the Dead Ringer when I want to flee from the enemy. I basically just trigger the Dead Ringer and then I go to a safe place to get some ammunition and some health. After that, I can go out and fight people again. It's perfect for holding you alive if you keep calm and don't get too aggressive. It's also good if you're having problems with pyros. Though you cannot use the Dead Ringer as a bullet sponge, since the resistance is not big enough for you to survive for very long. You need to use that single trigger of your Dead Ringer to flee to get some health and ammo so you can keep fighting and keep staying alive. My second tip for the Dead Ringer is... Decloak the right times at the right places. I just had to talk about this. It's the biggest problem and penalty for using the Dead Ringer. People are very scared of decloaking with this watch, and it's understandable. But actually, it's not as penalizing as you may think. Because the sound of the Dead Ringer decloaking is not that loud actually. A lot of the time, there's a lot of noise from sounds all over the place. And if you decloak from a safe distance, you'll rarely get caught. You can also not rely on the sounds you hear when you decloak, since you're the one decloaking, so of course it would be loud for you. But for other people from a distance, it's not that loud actually, and a lot of times they'll be too busy to even notice you. Though of course if you decloak right behind them, they will notice it. But what I do is I just decloak a safe place where I know that people aren't around. There are so many good places with ammo and health where you can decloak and get ready to stab your foes. It's a good idea to get some metal anyway for your cloak meter, so instead of decloaking right behind enemies, which is a really dumb idea with the Dead Ringer, take your time and get some health and ammo to prepare. It makes you less detectable and less likely to die. So basically decloak far away, take your time, get some health, get some ammo, and after that you can go and stab your enemies. So, my third and final tip is, and never show where you're fleeing when cloaked. This tip is useful for all watches, but I will go into details on how to use it with the Dead Ringer. When using the Dead Ringer, know where you want to go. Do you want to go to this specific location with health packs and ammo or this one? Basically, with the Dead Ringer, instead of going the way you want to go, walk in other direction while getting ready to trigger your Dead Ringer. In this way, you won't be tracked, and you can trigger your enemies to go one way while you go another. A way to maximize your chance of this working is tricking your enemy into thinking you're going to a location where there's health and ammo. So they would actually believe that you're going for health and ammo, but you're actually going for another location where there is health and ammo. This makes it so the enemy can also see a logical context to why you will go that way, and they have a higher chance of believing you. I can't tell you how valuable this is for Spy. I highly recommend nearly always doing this when fleeing. It's never a good idea to share unnecessary information to your enemy. So trigger them into thinking you're going one way when you're going another is really, really, really helpful. It has saved me a lot of times. So it's always important for Spy to never ever show information you don't want to share. So there you go. Three tips for the Dead Ringer. I hope that Dead Ringer is a little bit less scary to use now. If you enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like and subscribe for videos like this one. Thanks for all the support, by the way. Uh, I'm growing faster and faster, which is really cool. I'm so close to 1,000 subscribers, I can nearly taste it. Uh, don't, don't, don't ask me what it, what it tastes like, though. It's, 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 it's top secret. Oh, yeah. Other than that, see you next time, and for the outro.